Joining me now is Nick Pettahoff, who is with Adiant. He is the Executive Director for Advanced Development. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So tell us about your presentation when it comes to designing interior autonomous vehicles in the future. Sure, I was in a review last year. One of my bosses said the last big bang in the automotive industry happened 130 years ago when we went from the horse-drawn carriage to the horseless carriage. And today we're at that kind of same big bang opportunity. Mm -hmm. But as I thought about it, I realized that it took us about four or five decades before we actually created the car, the automobile, from that horseless carriage. And I wondered if there were some lessons in the past of what some of the giants and the titans of our industry did mm -hmm. that could help us guide and set a, a, a roadmap, a, a course for the future on how we really design the interior of the future. So tell us about how the future interior design is going to change the way the industry needs to look at occupant protection, because I know that's really important to a lot of people. It's significant. As we see the occupant moving around in the vehicle now, they're going to move away from the dash, from the doors. Airbags won't work as they do today. Mm -hmm. As we start to have people recline and get into lounging or sleeping positions, as they rotate in the vehicle, conventional restraints won't work in the same way. So we have to reconceive our notions of safety and how we keep the occupant safe in all these new and wonderful positions of the future. So when it comes to interior perspectives, what do you think will be closer to a future reality? Are we talking about the Blade Runner or are we talking about the Jetsons? Honestly, I think <laughs> part of it is more like Herbie the Love Bug. Ah. Kind of a utilitarian uh, urban ride share. Okay. Uh, something that's going to be very basic, but um, still have that kind of thought of its own. It's going to drive you and get you there safely. And the other maybe would be a James Bond vehicle. Oh, you know, I like luxury that kind of sleek. Yeah, sleek, luxury appointments, uh, doing all sorts of cool things. You hit buttons, you don't know what's going to happen, but that excitement, and we can kind of be that cue, the guy behind the scenes and develop that stuff. So let's talk about, since we're talking about excitement, what excites you when it comes to the automotive industry? Well, I think we are at that big bang. I think it's an appropriate uh, kind of analogy. And we have the opportunity to be Q, you know, the guy who's designing and gals who are designing this great new future for our kids and our grandkids. And I think that's just a huge opportunity for us. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it, Mr. Pedicoff. Thank you so much. All right. Cheers.